This week, Hartford marked its 31st homicide of the year. As neighbors continue to mourn, one organization is working to break the cycle of violence. It's called the Brother Carl Hardrick Institute, and part of the mission there is training neighbors to become violence intervention specialists. That includes everyone from parents, nurses, youth development practitioners, and most recently, firefighters. So joining us this morning, our longtime community activist, Brother Carl Hardrick, Joanne Price, founder of Fairview Capital and a leader at the Institute, and Stephen Harris with the International Association of Black Professional Firefighters. Good morning, guys. Thank you all so much for Good being morning. here with us Good this morning. morning. Brother Carl, I do want to start off with you. We look at the numbers here. 31 homicides so far this year, two more than at this point last year, according to police, 34 total last year. When you look at those numbers, what do you think about the current state of violence in the capital city right now? Well, I just think that uh, <clears throat> what we're seeing now is the explosion of young people not being connected to anything but the street, uh, the lack of resources, it, it deals with education, the, the extended family is not there. I think when we grew up and working with young people back then, we had a collective group of people that was willing to go to the street. And I just think that if we're going to solve this problem, it has to come from the bottom up. We have to engage with parents. We have to engage with individuals that have problems, identify them, including working with the teachers, the education system. Because we look, we look at, we had the problem back there early 20 years ago. We know what worked. We took kids where we had a gang here, we had another gang here, and they were beefing. And we were able to take them up to Camp Woodstock, get them out of that environment, and talk about what's the beef. How do we sell it? What do we need to do? So it's like bringing young people together. Ninety percent of the problems, young people know it's going to happen before it happened. But who do they turn to when they know that something's going to happen and they don't know who to turn to? And that's where you guys come in. And that's where we come in. Trying to be in. intervention specialists, training neighbors, <clears throat> as I mentioned. This is training by neighbors for neighbors. Joanne, tell us about that mission, what, what it means to be an intervention specialist. Well, I think the important thing is to take the work uh, that Brother Carl and others have done and bring it together, institutionalize the work, uh, and educate um, folks, as Brother Carl indicated, uh, in the community, in the organizations, uh, organizations like the firemen, um, and allow people to realize that working together, we can make some significant change and the um, Brother Carl allows us to institutionalize that. And what does it mean to be a specialist, to intervene in these situations, do it the proper way? What does that look like? Well, to me, it looks like um, training, bringing in people to provide um, education, allow them to understand what needs to happen, bring in some additional resources, make sure the people that are doing the work are respected, and, and they're, they're provided the type of, of uh, livelihood that is necessary to do the work well. And it also means bringing in other um, programmatic opportunities. Hartford Hospital stepping in to work and provide mental health assistance. So we've got a number of, of institutions and people that are working together and also people who, don't, who are interested in this work but don't have a way of being able to understand the work. And people are coming together in, in, in large groups, a multi-ethnic situation, everybody leaning in to try to help solve some of the issues. And Stephen, most recently your organization was a part of this training. What were some of the big takeaways and lessons from that training? You know, we just have to keep, one of my big takeaways was that this is and continues to be important work and as a, as a product of Hartford and as a, as a career Hartford firefighter. One of the things that, that is, has been essential is that just like the fire department connects with, with all our citizens in, in, in the city, I think it's so important now that we as firefighters approach these young people, mentoring, befriending, fathering in some cases. Because at the end of the day, it's all about personal touch that grows into trust 
And what young people need today is to know that there are adults that truly care about them and care about their welfare. And we as firefighters, I mean, we're in every neighborhood in this city. I was born and raised in this city. This city is very, for me, this is, this is my home. And it's important for me to do whatever I can, not just as a firefighter, but as a resident of this city, to make things better, yeah. particularly for our young people. Yeah. And what I gather from this conversation, I know it has to be short because we only have so much time. This is a multi-layered problem. You guys are really trying to take a multi-layered approach, getting all these different organizations involved. Wish you nothing but the best. Thank you so much for being here and speaking about this important message with our viewers. Thank you all so much. Have a great day.